Hello Libra! Welcome to your bonus love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Libra, this is a collective love message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation, Libra. Let's see. Let's see, Libra, what do we have at this time for you? What do we have for you, Libra? Mm -hmm. Respect. Okay. So, Libra, in this reading, we are connecting here with someone who really wants to reach out, who wants to have a conversation, who wants to talk to you, who wants to be closer to you, who wants to be, I feel, on a regular basis, uh, in, again, in touch with you, you know, this person wants to be in your energy, they want to be the part of your life. Mutual, underst mutual understanding, mutual energy here, Libra, we have stability. And I feel that this connection has a potential to be very stable, okay? Also that it can gain more stability, but I feel that this person really wants to create something very stable with you. And on your side, we have surprise. For some of you, might be planning surprise uh, for this person regarding this connection, Libra. But what I am getting very, very strongly is that this person will surprise you. Okay? They will surprise you. And I feel in a sense of they will tell you something. They will tell you something here that will be very surprising. Very, very surprising. Something unexpected. Uh, quite shocking, but I feel in a very, very positive way here, Libra. With this stabili stabili stability card, excuse me, I'm getting quite strongly here, Libra, that at the end of the day, both of you would like to, this connection to gain maybe more stability or to be a stable one. And it feels like, you know, you have a common goal and it is very likely that um, things can work out between the two of you, but there is something here about communication and this person, I feel that, you know, this person really needs to kind of, there is something about the way communicate Libra, but it has to be like a clear communication and they might having a problem with it, the way they kind of, you know, articulate themselves or they express themselves. It, 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 it might be, uh, maybe this is someone here who has, uh, who's very passionate, who speaks before they think, you know, when, when emotions are running really, really high. Overall energy, we have respect. Yeah, this is interesting because for me, immediately when I saw this card, I was getting an impression that this person might be owning you some sort of apology. It's like because you might be feeling that this person acted in that kind of uh, disrespective ma 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 manner, you know, and it's like you demand respect from them. But if, if that's the case, I feel that they come in here with an apology and it, with, and it will surprise you. It will be like a very nice surprise. Okay, so... Um, Let's take a look, Libra, at this person's energy and their feelings that they have for you and this connection. So we have Justice, Five of Wands. Uh, this person feels that they need to balance things out with you. Something here happened. You might be dealing with Libra, Aquarius, Aries. So far we have. Okay. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. And we have Knight of Swords. Yes, they want to rush in. This is also someone who wants to chase you. Two of Pentacles, the Moon. And the side message, we have page of pentacles. Okay. Move it, maybe a little bit here. Okay. 
All right, so you might be dealing again with the Libra, with another Libra, okay, because we have your energy here. <laughs> we have also uh, Aquarius, Aries and Pisces. Yeah, with the with the with the justice to the five of wands, it feels very strongly that this person wants to address something. They feel like they need to balance things out with you or bring more justice and fairness to the situation because I feel that this is someone. For instance, if you had an argument, and it might be a case because we have this five of wands, or this person kind of um, mm, how can I, oh gosh, the the, the word um they provoked the argument okay or disagreement or tension there there is a tension between the two of you this person here wants to kind of uh, balance things out with you it's like they feel that they need to reach out in order to gain more stability but first certain things firstly certain things needs to be addressed and that five of wands suggests that um, gosh it might for instance uh, means uh, to you Libra that this person created some sort of kind of tension between the two of you or there indeed was an argument or disagreement uh, or this person was a drama you know they were creating those sort of kind of obstacles and challenges uh, and it shouldn't be really that difficult but the five of wands is this energy of of conflict and it, it, it's showing up on their side and it feels like they created some sort of kind of tension and conflict here, Libra, uh, between the two of you or in this connection. And they, and they feel that they really need to reach out. We have this respect. So indeed, they might have said something. And you might feel, for, for whatever it was said, um, you might took it that this person disrespected you. Mm-hmm. That's why something here needs to be addressed. That's why they feel that indeed they really need to reach out in order to discuss the situation. Then we have, you know, um, we have the fall. So this is someone here who really wants to kind of uh, take a leap of faith. And with the Knight of Swords, they want to chase you. And again, this is another card that suggests that this person really feels the urge to have this conversation. They really want to kind of, I feel this is someone who really wants to explain themselves to you, Libra. They really do. But with the full, there is something about the way they're going about, or especially when it comes to some sort of kind of uh, conversation or exchange of views and they acting in a very immature childish way maybe you've kind of you know because you see the fool with the knight of swords this is that suggests that this is someone here who indeed might be uh have this tendency to speak before they think and they kind of they are very passionate and they will say something and then they will regret it when they will have time to think about it and here, here we have another thing. We have the two of pentacles and we have the moon. This person at the moment, you know, as much as they feel this urge and they want to do it and they will reach out. That's without a doubt. But two of pentacles with the moon, this person feels uncertainty big time because they don't know how you will react on this. And I feel that, you know, as much as, again, they do want to talk, uh, there is that kind of, you know, part of days, you know, they feel like mm, you know i don't know how should i approach this and with the moon there is this doubt how you will respond you know uh, on 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 the um how you might respond how you might react on them reaching out and and you know even if you want to kind of listen to the explanation this pa page of a pentacles suggests that you will receive a very kind of uh casual message this person might be kind of send set, might, might, might send you a message as simple as hi how have you been you know or something of this kind in order to figure out if you are willing to listen to them or if you are willing to kind of continue this conversation but um 
yeah this this person is unsure this person is unsure with the moon there is a doubt there is uncertainty there's a i don't know maybe i should i know that i should but I, at the same time this is someone who doesn't want to you know be rejected or feel rejected or feel this rejection and it feels like they are kind of understanding also that it, you know it might be a case that you don't want to uh, this is this is they you know this is what they're assuming here it might of course not be true but this is like their feelings and with the moon this person is very very deeply in their emotions and they are thinking a lot about you but they have doubts they they are they are kind of a i feel that they are afraid um how you would react they're afraid of your reaction in a sense of because you might completely kind of you know dismiss this this message and it feels like they are aware of that they are taking it into account but the urge is stronger here they really feel that they need to address something and they will with this page of pentacles we have a king of wands i feel this person really wants to kind of show you that they are i feel you didn't care with someone who has quite strong facade this is someone who can be quite creative maybe they are very good looking you know they have this natural x factor charisma that people are drawn to them but um it feels like it's been said too much this person did something here and it's like maybe you kind of saw them as very uh, arrogant the way they express themselves or um, the content of the conversation you know the way they kind of uh, say something to you and i feel with this energy that indeed you might feel that this person said something way too much and you didn't like it and it felt like uh that wasn't okay mm -hmm. but let's see let's see libra let's see let's see libra's energy towards this person and this connection show me Libra's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection I feel very strongly Libra that you are protecting uh, kind of there is something here about keeping your head very high it's like I feel that you are refusing to give uh, to, to give to this situation Three of Pentacles and the Lovers. The Sun at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so Libra, we you might be dealing with Gemini. I also have, um, I also have Leo. Okay. For some of you, it might be a case here, Libra, that with the Seven of Wands, you block this person. And it's like it's their own doing because with the seven of wands i feel this person at some point pushed you away and it's something to do them that them creating conflict tension between the two of you with the nine of pentacles i see you being incredibly self-sufficient very independent this is also energy of self-love self-care putting yourself first and your well-being as a as a priority which is very very beautiful why because you've been through a lot with the nine of swords this is i feel that you know this person caused you a headache they brought some sort of kind of energy of of an anxiety stress and worry and it in and it's been very very draining and with the four of uh with the four of uh with the four of um cups excuse me it's like I feel that you are making a statement saying I refuse uh, to be any longer in this energy of nine of swords no this is not what I am looking for now I know exactly what I am looking for and I feel that you want a partnership three of pentacles with the lovers this is a partnership because a three of pentacles is this energy of teamwork working together um, in order to uh, achieve a common goal and in this case the three of pentacles here followed by the lovers you want a stable relationship connection 
based on mutual understanding someone who will meet you f who, who who's going to meet you halfway and who's willing to compromise and work together in order to create this beautiful connection but i also have to emphasize here libra that it feels that you know irrespective of what might have happened here between the two of you and that i see this energy of frustration and making a statement that you know I'm doing very well. At the end of the day, if this person is not willing to give me, balance things out with me or give me an honest um, explanation, I am fine. Because nine of pentacles is this kind of energy. I'm fine. I'll be fine. And I feel also you coming from the place that, you know, I would rather be single. Uh, whereas to be in some sort of kind of toxic relationship, because that's not for me now. And um, I see you being very strong, again, very independent, emotionally, intellectually. And also when it comes to everyday life, this is beautiful energy because this is pre empress energy. You're also attracting a lot of prosperity and abundance. And what I am getting very strongly that this person is seeing you doing very well. They're seeing you some looking very beautiful. And it's like you are unbothered. I feel that, you, that, and that's what I meant. I feel that you are not giving much to this situation. Um, in a sense, you don't chase this person at all. You refuse to do that, actually, with the Four of Cups. But um, I feel that deep inside, you do have feelings for this person. You would love this person to show like a more more affection, more love, and willingness to work to be a team player instead of creating drama and being maybe even quite confrontational here or creating some sort of tension between the two of you. I feel that you just want an, a nice, calm relationship. We have the sun, which is a beautiful energy, your overall energy. I do feel that this person has a potential to make you feel happy and I feel that you feel it. It's like they really need to kind of learn the lesson. They really need to realize that I will not accept that sort of behavior. And I feel this is where this respect card really kind of makes sense. Because I see you being uh, very independent and it's like I'm putting myself first. And it's not because I am selfish. It's because it's self-love. And I care about my well-being and certain things with regards to certain things I will not uh, uh, certain things are unacceptable here and if this person is willing to change or kind of recognize that they need to change the attitude then I feel that you might be open indeed to kind of uh, to find a common ground here and resolution with this individual because it feels like the love is there and there is a potential I feel that this person really kind of makes you happy I feel that you see happiness with them but um, something here really kind of has to give and this person really needs to change the attitude show me the outcome for Libra show me the outcome for Libra and this person in this connection, please. We have six of wands. We have the Empress. And we have two of wands. Mm -hmm. This person is going to surprise you in a very very positive way eight of swords at the bottom of the deck so they're coming here with an energy of six of wands this is someone here who wants to be who wants to uh this connection to be a successful one also they want to be successful in their undertakings regarding this connection this is someone here who wants your attention so you can be reassured that they will reach out mutual energy we have the empress which also represents stability here is the thing, I feel that at the end of the day you both want the same thing, but this person here needs to kind of chill. They need to really recognize that that sort of attitude won't get them very far. 
because you are not interested in this. You want happy, stable, normal, you know, uh, peaceful relationship, full of love and understanding. Mutual energy though with the Empress, it's a beautiful sign because uh, that represents growth, expansion and progress. This is also a sign of good, of good luck, good fortune, prosperity and abundance. So this is a beautiful sign. And the thing is that I feel that both of you want the same thing. You might be a divine feminine or you dealing with divine feminine but it feels very strongly that this connection has a potential to grow into something really nice two of wands uh, on your side libra i feel that you are in no rush it's like i feel that you want to take time when this person when this person will reach out i feel that you will be in that kind of energy um great We'll see. Time will, uh, only time will tell. That kind of energy I'm getting from this two of wands. It's like I feel that uh, you've kind of, um, it's very well if they apologize or whatever the case might be, please take it how it is for your personal uh, situation. But I feel that you would want it, this person to kind of prove it to you long term that, that it's exactly the truth what they're saying and that they really kind of are willing to change their attitude towards this connection and if that's the case yes i feel that this connection indeed can blossom into something really fabulous with the empress overall energy at the moment is eight of swords here is the thing libra i feel that both of you are kind of stuck on each other i feel that this person indeed is stuck on you I feel that you know for some of you I will tell it be, I will tell it because this is how I see it and what the cards are showing me I feel that you know I feel that it might be a case that you don't want anyone else you would like this connection to work out and this person to kind of really balance things out with you and acknowledge that they treated certain situation here in that way that kind of made you feel not cool and nice and it was like you felt disrespected and and you and of course you deserve respect big time but eight of swords suggests that at the moment it might be a case that this connection it's like there is no progress nothing is happening but in your outcome things going it, it is assigned with especially six of wands and the empress that, that you can expect that things will be happening because this person will take action. They have very action oriented cards on their side. But with the Eight of Swords, I feel that uh, at the moment, nothing is happening. Uh, and I need to be honest with you, Libra, and it might not resonate with all of you. That's absolutely fine. I, I do those readings very often. And most of the time, uh, every reading is different because we are connecting here with a different uh, with a different collective but for this collective I feel that you are stuck on each other you 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 kind of uh, you care about this person you want this person this is a mutual feeling things going to happen things will be happening that's for sure Libra and I see them reaching out reaching out to you and and you having this conversation about the situation that made you feel in a certain way so things will be i'm getting quite strongly here that things will be discussed things will be understood and this connection will gain more stability at the end libra i will leave it here uh, thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time i truly truly appreciate you libra you might also de dealing with uh taurus <laughs> gemini and virgo libra i wish you wonderful and fantastic and beautiful day and i'm sending you much love take care till next time bye